Straight is walking out like he's ready, but Joe's ready as well. Round number 10 of the world title fight on the Gold Coast. Bradis the champion. Bloody and desperate against Opatire. Who's boxing better than we've ever seen. I honestly believe for Bradis to win this fight, he has to win the last three rounds and win them big. I think Joe's in front of this fight. So the body goes up at time. Yeah. Oh, nice right hand by Bradis. Strong right hand it was from Bradis. But he needs more of those, the champion. There's a nice right hand again, which gets a smile. Yeah, that's it, Joy. Left hand from Jai Pattaya, straight down the middle and onto that nose, which bleeds freely now. There we go. Body shot as well from Opatire as the crowd surges. Oh, big Opatire. shot. Major shot from Raiders and Opatire. He was rocked. Oh, here comes Morris Raiders, the champion. Behind in the fight and desperate. But he scored with big shots against Opatire, who has a long time left in this round. Big shot from Opatire. He throws the right hands. Opatire felt that. The power of Bradis on display. And now the Latvian three-time world champion, the defending IBF cruiserweight champ, is on the chase. He's hurt Opatire. Who has to cover up and needs to hang on. With a minute left in round number 10. The Latvian corner. They will their man on. That uppercut caused the problem. It's hurt up a tire and he's still not clear. He's trying to stay away. Oh, there's an uppercut by Apatire. He's ragged now. Up a tire. He throws his own left hand. He throws a hook as well on the inside. Brave stuff from the Australian world title challenger. Who's been hurt badly in this round, but he's still on his feet. And still punching. 20 seconds left in a dangerous round for Opatire. He's recovered. He's good as gold again. Don't worry about that. 10 seconds left in the round. Round 10. Opatire with a beautiful right hand up and cut. And he'll enjoy this move. He was hurt for the first time in this fight. Two rounds to go, six minutes. Greatest. He goes his right hand. One of his power shots, that overhand right. Off the tire. Tries to get back to where he was, and the left hand will help. He gets it out there again. Uppercut is a good one from Bradis. Again, he picked off Opatire, who was coming in. But he's okay. Wild shots from both fighters. Who said Joe Opatire wasn't ready for this? He's ready. Left hand Opatire. Beautiful left hand from Opatire again. And an overhand right there. One, two goes Bradis. And working on the inside. Opatire is. The blood pours again. For the damaged Bradis. Who saw a glimmer of hope in round 10. And he's trying to get back there. Left hand Opatire. Oh, nice right hook. Found him on the way in too. Bradis was looking for that right hand to the body. There's a right hand over the top from Bradis that snaps the head back. And a punch behind the head. Referee Chris Flores will have his work cut out for what remains of this fight. 
dangerous stuff off a tyre right in the firing line for that uppercut. A minute to go in round 11. Come on, Joy. Off a tyre, digging deep and working hard. No, no, no. Gators comes towards, but the referee pulls him apart. Right hand again from Gators. Yes, there's so much on it. Yeah. He is putting everything into these shots. Myris Bradis. The big punching world champion. Who goes again. 20 seconds remaining in round 11. Uppercut from Bradis again. Yeah, landed again. He is scoring with big uppercuts. The tire can't oh, afford many more as he takes a right hand. The bell sounds with 11 rounds down. Damage to the upper tire jaw, likely from those uppercuts. In round 11, and now we head into the final three minutes of this world title fight. Upper tire. Showing incredible bravery just to return for the final round of the fight with a damaged jaw against a big punching world champion, Raiders, who's been wounded, who's certainly been behind, and who's fighting back, showing his quality and his class and his toughness. This is an epic fight. Opatire cannot take those uppercuts. And he heads down to the canvas. That's all good. It's wasting time. Take your time, John. And the more seconds that tick as the swelling continues around that jaw of Opatire, the better for him. Blood now coursing from his mouth. Raider saw that. And he knows what he needs to do. And he comes forward, but Opatire digs deep. He has been tested in every way he possibly can be. A badly injured jaw. And the uppercut gets in, but Opatire gets through it. And he's leaving nothing, nothing in the bank for Joy. Everything's out there. We are now halfway through this final round. The damaged world champion. And now the hurt world title challenger. Digging deep into their souls and leaving everything of this Gold Coast ring with the world title on the line. Opatai struggling now to keep his mouth guard in with the issues around his jaw. And Freitas can see it. The heads come together awkwardly. A minute left in the fight. 60 seconds from destiny. For Opatire, who evades the uppercut. Another one comes, but he's away and chasing his Bradis and hanging on now is Jai Opatire. The corner of Bradis is. Jim, get up there, get up there. The uppercut got through from Bradis. Again. Opatire covers up. His mouth badly disfigured. He hangs on with 30 seconds left in this fight. Both fighters injured. Both boxes bloodied. Up a time to get deep. Showing incredible toughness to stand up to some of these shots. And they trade. With 10 seconds left. I'm sure I'm going to Up a tire, taking big shots. Staying on his feet and hanging on. What a fight we've seen. It's great as the invincible. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 Cruiserweight Championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Judge John Basili scores the contest 116-112. Judge Katsuhiko Nakamura scores the contest 115, 113. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores the contest 
116, 112. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous points decision victory. And